Hello. Today, we are going to learn network management in networking. In Module 8, SNMP and Network Monitoring Tools, Troubleshooting Methodologies and Tools, Network Design and Planning, SNMP and Network Monitoring Tools, SNMP Simple Network Management Protocol is a protocol used to manage and monitor network devices such as routers, switches and servers. It provides a standardized way to collect and organize information about network devices, allowing network administrators to monitor the health and performance of their network. SNMP works by sending messages, called SNMP traps or SNMP informs, from managed devices to a network management system NMS. These messages contain information about the status of the device such as CPU usage, memory usage, and network traffic. Network monitoring tools are software applications that allow network administrators to monitor and manage network devices and traffic. These tools use protocols such as SNMP to collect information about the network and display it in a user-friendly interface. Some popular network monitoring tools include 1. Nagios, an open source monitoring tool that can monitor hosts, services, and network devices. 2. Zabbix, an open source monitoring tool that can monitor hosts, services, and network devices. 3. BRTG Network Monitor, a commercial monitoring tool that can monitor hosts, services, and network devices. 4. SolarWinds Network Performance Monitor, a commercial monitoring tool that can monitor network devices and traffic. 5. Wireshark, a free and open source packet analyzer that can be used to capture and analyze network traffic. Troubleshooting methodologies and tools. Troubleshooting is the process of identifying and resolving problems or issues that occur in a network or system. The following are some common troubleshooting methodologies and tools that are used by network administrators. 1. Identify the problem. The first step in troubleshooting is to identify the problem. This can be done by gathering information about the issue from users, logs and monitoring tools. 2. Reproduce the problem. Once the problem has been identified, it is important to reproduce the problem. Problem in a controlled environment. This can help in isolating the root cause of the problem. 3. Analyze the problem. After reproducing the problem, the next step is to analyze the problem. This involves gathering information about the problem and examining it to identify the root cause. Network design and planning. Network design and planning involves creating a blueprint for a network that meets the requirements of an organization, taking into account factors such as performance, reliability, security, scalability, and cost effectiveness. This process typically includes the following steps. 1. Gather requirements. This involves understanding the business needs of the organization, such as the number of users, the applications they use, and the types of data they work with. 2. Define the scope. This involves determining the boundaries of the network, including the physical locations, the number and types of devices, and the types of connections. 3. Develop a network topology. This involves selecting the appropriate network topology based on the requirements and scope of the network. Common topologies include bus, Ring, star, and mesh. Thor. Select networking devices. This involves selecting the appropriate networking devices, such as switches, routers, firewalls, and load balancers, based on the topology and requirements of the network. 5. Addressing and subnetting. This involves assigning IP addresses to devices on the network and dividing the network in two subnets to improve performance and security. 6. Develop a security strategy. This involves implementing security measures 
such as firewalls, intrusion detection systems and encryption, to protect the network from unauthorized access and attacks. 7. Test and optimize. This involves testing the network to ensure that it meets the requirements and optimizing it for performance, reliability, and security. 8. Document and maintain. This involves documenting the network design and configuration and maintaining it over time as the organization's needs and technology evolve. Thank you for watching us. Stay tuned for next video.